guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today, something a little random, but whatever. We're gonna talk about it, the Bighorn freaking pizza oven. All right, so I got this thing ramped up at the moment. Basically, it just uses pellets. I like to just use these Traeger pellets. These are the signature hardwood pellets. Um, what are these ones? These are hickory, I wanna say? No, cherry, cherry maple uh, blend right there, clean burning. All you have to do, literally pour them right down in there, the pellets. I take the torch, I fire them up like that, and I get them going, it starts to burn. Uh, once you get that lit up, you can literally use the tool that it comes with, and you just close it down and keep this readily available. Um, then all you gotta do is kind of sit back, wait for this thing to start ripping, uh, once flames start shooting out of the top of this freaking smokestack, uh, you know you're good to go. And then you can start cooking pizzas. This thing's pretty awesome. There's those other ones that cost around, I think, three to $400. I think they're like $400. Uh, and this one is a very affordable one. I think I've had it for close to a year now. And I love it. It's great. It's not super expensive. It's like, you know, how often do you really make pizzas anyways? This is how it still looks inside. It is stainless steel. One downside, it did ship from Amazon with the dent in it. Uh, I could have shipped it back, but honestly, I kind of took it all apart and I was like, eh, I just want to make pizza. I really just wanted to make pizza, so I wasn't too worried about it. And I have just left it out in the elements. It does come along with this little temp chimney topper, if you will. But what that works great as is a scooper. So you can take this, right? Take those and you use your little, open up the hatch with it so you don't burn yourself. And you're just gonna pour pellets in there until you fill it up. Uh, initially, you do wanna fill it up to the top until, like I said, until flames start shooting out of that thing. And then before that, you can kind of just load it one more time. Basically just close this down. It's super easy to use and I like it. And it makes good pizza. Here's just a Trader Joe's frozen pizza. You can actually use dough and all that stuff too. But we've actually found that the pre-made uh, doughs work a little bit better uh, just because you don't run into that doughiness. This thing cooks in about 60 seconds, which is crazy. But what ends up happening is you can kind of get um, the toppings kind of scorched and the bottom might be a little bit squishy. So I've noticed you kind of just want to go a little bit longer with it, maybe like a minute, a half, something like that. The flame, the top is going to be kind of fiery. It's gonna be kind of that charred look. If you're not into that, don't buy one of these. Uh, if you're into that type of thing, wood fired, good to go, uh, do it. So another thing you could do though too, is actually possibly just pre-cook the crust. If you just have dough, right? Throw it in there real quick, maybe get it kind of rised up, kind of do that. Bring it back in, throw the toppings on, and then maybe take it out there again if you don't want the doughy crust. I don't like doughy crust. But this right here, we'll see. I'll throw it in there. Um, we just basically got some pizza sauce right here. Stuff we like to use right there. Uh, and then we've got some basil. And this is actually not pepperoni. So we couldn't find pepperoni, but got that at Trader Joe's. Hopefully it tastes good. Some mozzarella cheese and then some almond mozzarella cheese sprinkled on top, I guess one of these mm, yum. fire 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 so you guys can see the flames kind of shooting out of the top right here that is what we want so you can see if you look down in here we got fire going it's a good looking chimney uh we can use that tool again and we're just gonna crack this open you can see we're pretty well full you can just kind of stab it down a little bit but the idea is, is that you get this thing really roaring throw a little bit of extra stuff on the top and start cooking that freaking pizza, man. Couple words of wisdom. Don't touch anything that's metal. Uh, you will absolutely roast yourself. Uh, this thing gets really hot. So yeah, one thing. Okay, so this has been out in the elements, right? Didn't have a cover on this. Have a cover on the Weber. That worked out well. Um, if you're gonna leave it outside, get a cover, right? Maybe. I didn't. This is how it looks. It's been out here all winter. That's just like dirt and rain, basically. You can see we got the flames are roaring and we can look in here one more time. 
Looks pretty good. Look at that. Frickin' fire, my dude. Fire. Oh, yeah. That looks good. So, you can see it does kind of come up there. It just goes up right through the chimney and starts a roasting. But it gets a very nice draft going. And it gets this thing really hot. No temperature or anything like that. Basically, it's flames at the top. You know the thing's hot. Uh, so we can kind of watch it right here and it'll start getting that that venturi effect that suction there uh, you can see that's the intake back there sucks in goes through here with the little pieces on the top <sighs> flame on up to the chimney and out so let's throw a pizza in this bad boy you do have to pick up a pizza peel this is an ui i ended up getting this on amazon as well uh, we were gonna get one from, what's that place called? William Sonoma. They were kind of ridiculously expensive and they were a little bit small. Um, oh yeah, this one also came with this bad boy, which is kind of why we went with this. Pretty sure. So I'll leave a link down to this below, but this is shankable and you can cut the pizza up after you're done. So that's great. Here's the pizzas, boom. And I wanna say the pizza oven did come with like a little stabbing probe. Um, I use this for rotation. So I had this, it was another kebab stick. I ended up just putting a right angle in it, 90 degree. And I'll kind of put it in there, I'll shake it and I'll spin the pizza. So I spin the pizza because the backside of the oven, right where the flame is, flame on, right is here. So this is gonna be the hottest part. So I like to try to rotate the pizza and that way it gets cooked evenly. That makes sense so let's go do it if you're using raw dough make sure to put a bunch of flour on the peel or else it's gonna stick um you don't have to worry so much when it's a pre-done pizza because it doesn't really stick as much here uh so we're gonna do this i'll bring the little stabber stick as you guys can see lots of flames i take this basically just shove it in there real quick just like that flame on uh Take this guy, and then I literally just start counting the seconds once I throw it in there. So, like I said, I go probably about, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds, and then I start rotating it. Uh, so we'll do that. It's about 15 right there. Sheesh. Okay. Let's see. really not that easy to do this with one hand but I'll go like that and pop it back in there probably gonna put the camera down and I'll show you the final results there but that's basically it so I do that a couple times and then I just kind of check on the pizza every once in a while make sure we got flame shooting out of this guy that means it's nice and hot it'll cook the pizzas up like literally a minute and a half two minutes tops it could really be 60 seconds but I don't know we've already been going over 60 seconds you can see, yeah, look at that. That's, we're at a minute 21 that I've been filming with you guys. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna rotate it one more time. And I'll oh yeah, smoke on my dude. Okay, so probably about good there. Yeah, this has probably been right at around two minutes. I'm gonna just pick it up with that peel, one-handed. So you can see my edges are toasted. That's the way I like it. Yes, you could get in there and rotate it more. Some people may call this burnt, I call it toasty gonna look down there you can see yes we can add some stuff to it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire that back up i'm gonna fill it back up a couple more pellets better it was slightly sticky okay so i went a little bit harder on this you can see the edges are pretty toasty on this guy um but sometimes you gotta go sacrifice the crust to get the inside feeling right so uh, overall, the other parts of the pizza to me look good. The crust, maybe not so much for you guys, but uh, this seems to be kind of where it's at uh, to get these things done. It's getting that dough, not crust. I was gonna ask you, what do you think of that? I like it. No, I like my pizza like that. I was saying like the crust, yeah, it's a little bit black, but the middle of the pizza is gonna be good because of that. So. Noise. Uh, mine might be a little doughy, so I'm gonna have to throw it back in there. You said it was a little, yeah, a little doughy. Mm -hmm. So we'll throw it back in just for a sec. 
I'm gonna try it with it open, I don't know. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? Let's try it. All right, so I let it cook for a little bit longer. Dude, it looks really good. So, let's go eat it. How's the pizza? Is it good? Is it doughy? Is it tasty? Mine's good, yeah. I'm, I like mine cooked more, so yeah. Yeah. Nice. This dough is just a random dough. Okay. So yeah, we got one more. Fucking A. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> pretty good so i'm curious on the the density here Ooh, that looks, I'm wishing yeah much. that looks pretty good it doesn't seem super doughy let's give her a bite oh yeah oh, shit. it's actually really good you want to so. have it with the honey sauce sure new stuff from it so honestly that's the first time i've tried this with the open front technique you can see it is still hot um i did still get a bit of crunchiness on the side here and the cheese is nice and toasted so i'm kind of curious about that i haven't really used this method usually i close it down and when you close this thing down you're making some heat but uh yeah if i can do this you get the crust kind of cooked evenly and then just lock it down for like 15 seconds or something boom pop it in i, I don't know it's kind of one of those things right it's like barbecuing you gotta try different things and all that so uh yeah pretty cool though i do like this thing it's fun okay, this is open lid rotation i'm gonna lock it down for like 15 seconds look at this i'm gonna go real time we'll just talk at 9 10 so 11 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's take it to 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Look at her. Boom. Looks a bit toasty. You can see it all bubbling up, getting all boily and stuff. I'm going to stick it another couple seconds. We can just real time this, guys, because I just want to show you kind of how this thing works. Cracker open, boom. That looks pretty damn good to me. I don't know. It's kind of one of those things, right? You just have to try out the dough, realistically. That's like the hardest part. All the toppings and everything like that, easy. The dough, kind of where it gets a little difficult. So that's how it looks right now. Looks pretty dang good. Turn her off, take her in, eat her up. Oh yeah, so this is fire. It tastes really good. It's crunchy, um, not doughy. Tastes nice. We put that honey on there, really good. Got jalapenos, got cheese, got um, mozzarella cheese, that almond milk cheese, whatever. And then uh, the pizza sauce, and it's just really good. You can see, look at it. See, it looks nice. Give her a bite. Mm -mm. Good stuff. I'm probably gonna put more jalapenos on these. These are fire jalapenos. Yeah. Turn on that TV, get something going. Oh yeah. These jalapenos right here are fire. So yeah, if you guys have these, they say they're hot. They're actually like, sensor. yeah, <laughs> they say they're hot. Um, they're not that hot. I mean, they're they're how jalapenos should be. You should taste they're pickled, them. Though, they're good. Yeah, they're very good. So Mr. Mrs. Refrendros, mm. I don't even know what that says. Ren Renfros? Renfros? I don't know what that says either. It's Mexican. Yeah. No, I'm just just try. <laughs> All right, let's watch the TV and eat. Food. Come on, I don't want to show me a fucking finger in the damn bottle. <laughs> finger those damn no. things. Finger him. Let me grab some. Here you go. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. Okay, so a quick review on all that pizza that I cooked. Uh, this is the other one. I'm going to try this one out, actually. I haven't eaten this one yet. I think it's a cauliflower crust, something a little bit different. Uh, the other one, what? Almond flour, Almond flour crust is what this one is right here. The other one, amazing. Everything tasted good about it. No doughiness, all crunchiness. Uh, the Trader Joe's little 
what is it? Spicy honey pizza sauce. Really, really good. That stuff was great. Um, so I'm gonna eat this. And then these jalapenos are fire. I probably ate about like 30 of these bad boys. So good. Update on that almond crust. Not my favorite, but uh, I mean, it's cooked well. So it's good, but yeah, the regular one at Trader Joe's, much better.